The Grumpy Frumpy is my favorite flight, should be yours too. Why? Is that good? No, yeah. just kidding. We're going to show you how to tie the most indestructible hackle on a dry fly that you've ever fished in your whole life. Okay, so the Grumpy Frumpy has been around for a lot of years. I've tied it in a whole bunch of different ways. Uh, to be honest, when we first tied it for this channel, we tied it in a way that kind of made sense with the inventory that we had. For example, we didn't have the right floss. Uh, we didn't have the right legs. We didn't even have the right hook. So we have all that stuff now in the shop. So I'm going to show you the original Gangster Grumpy Frumpy and it's super cool because I've started fishing it a lot more on our Provo River floats that you see us do all the time. If you want to see the Provo River floats with dry flies, click on the link below. But I've started to fish the yellow and red Grumpy Frumpy and there are days where the fish just won't leave it alone. So my love for the Grumpy is reinvigorated. I hope my wife's not watching this. That's creepy. But the Grumpy Frumpy is my favorite dry fly of all time. The one thing that I have changed a while back and I'm going to keep doing it um, is I'm going to tie it on a TMCO 9300. So that's a heavier dry fly hook. It seems counterproductive, but there's something about that fly that just is basically like a weapon. I don't know what it is. I got one stuck in my hand. It didn't just poke in my hand. It like made a gash all the way through my hand. So. It's a super gnarly hook, it's really durable, and for a moderately foamy fly that has a lot of floaty stuff, it will turn your fly and make it float correctly every single time. So let's get tying. Okay, let's get rolling here. So, I'm going to, on, on the original fly I would use red thread, um, but you don't really need it for this first portion of the body. Um, I'm just using a like a brown thread just so that the head kind of stays a little covert um, also I think in the other versions of the the grumpy frumpy we use just some other type of yarn now we have original Zelon so Zelon will help it float a little better there's just something about the Zelon and floaty powers a little bit of sparkle so the Zelon we're going to tie it in about right here. I don't know how, what percent of what what percent point that is of the hook, but we're just going to tie in the tail. Now, if you're not sure how long to trim the tail on the Grumpy Frumpy, you can always just take the tail and fold it over itself and trim it right there, so you know that it's the same length as the body. There's a little hack for you. Um, I've trimmed out a piece of two millimeter just craft foam in tan and I'll tie that in in the same place get it nice and snug we'll, we'll cinch it down so that it doesn't want to rotate on us now this is this is a part of the fly that I've kind of back, gone back and forth on over the years but I'm, I've settled on this technique for it but I'm taking some some floss so as you take this Danville rayon floss out of the off the spool it gets all separated like that so I'm gonna take that floss and trim it flush and then moisten it just a little bit and what the moistening does is it gives you something more like that it helps you with the tie-in. Now, steelhead guys that use floss, don't kill me over that. That's just how I do it for dumb cutthroat dry flies. So I'll tie that in up here, and then instead of taking my thread back or, or tying the, the, the floss back here, I'm actually going to just wrap the floss backward and then back forward. And on this forward wrap, you can see that by now the, the floss has flattened out nicely. I don't need it perfect. That's good enough for me right there. So I'll just trim that off. 
get rid of it. Shout out to these really thin scissors from Loon. What are these even called? The Loon Thin Scissor by Cheech. No, I like them. We'll tell you later. All right, so now we're going to pull that hump over. We'll tie that in. And when I cut this off, I don't just come in here and trim it like this. I come in here like this and trim it kind of at an angle. And what that does is it kind of, I don't know, creates more of a taper as I wrap that down. So you can see it tapers down. It gives kind of a place I can tie my hackle into. Now what I'm going to do is take some EP trigger point fibers and tie that in. So the first version I tied used poly yarn and this is basically just poly yarn that's been treated with a little floaty stuff and some other ninja magic that makes it really really good. Uh, but the Italian government's after me and I can't really divulge those secrets right now so bear with me. Alright so I'm just gonna tie those in right here right at the eye of the fly Oh yeah, you'll see. I didn't tie in rubber legs. Oh, let me find this one. The, the grumpy that I have to show you is mega chewed and that's perfect. So, you see this grumpy? It's got rubber legs right in the middle of the body. I know, I skipped that part. We're going to skip that part because we'll get to it later. So, check it out. Anyway, I'm gonna just tie in this wing all the way back and trim it off just like that. Okay, so now this hackle that I've been talking about, I don't know why this didn't dawn on me sooner, but I've started to tie thickly hackled um, attractor dry flies specifically this, this way, and it is absolutely bomb proof. I fished a lot of flies with a tie that way, the, the hackle just plain will not break. And it's a cool technique to get a really full hackle. So usually on this fly, I'm taking two hackles and I'm tying them both in right here. But on this one, I'm just going to tie in one hackle. Now usually I'll take my thread to the front, let it hang, wrap the hackle forward and tie it off. But on this one, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take my, ha my thread and move it to the back. And the fancy Renzetti that I'm tying on has a knob right here. I'm just going to let my thread hang knob cooperate so it hangs right there it's out of focus but you get the idea so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this hackle and I'm going to wrap it forward just kind of you know three turns forward wait the hackle's too big is it the hackle's too big Alright, it happens to all of us. I improperly sized some hackle. Now it's better. A little bit. So, I've got my hackle tied in. And I'm just going to let my bobbin rest on the knob. And now, for this hackle, I'm going to take this and wrap it forward three or four times. And as you can see, that's, that's a pretty sparse hackle. If I rotate the vise, it'll fall off there. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take that same hackle and just wrap it through itself back to the tie-in point. And as you can see, that really made that a full, full hackle. So once I have it all the way to the back, I'm now going to take my thread off and catch that hackle with two wraps and just do a wiggle wrap through the rest of the hackle to the eye. So now you can see that hackle not only is reinforced by itself, but also by the thread. And I'm just going to kind of put a crease on this hackle and pull it and it will break off right there. And now the cool thing is I have a very small uh, thread head on this fly because I don't have a bunch of stuff tied down up there. If I can get all the materials out of the way. This is when sausage fingers really 
hampers your life. Curtis can't do this, that's for sure. All right. All right, so our hackle is nice and full. It's a little bit longer than the hook point. That's how I want it on this attractor dry. And number one, it's it's not gonna sink and it's not gonna fall apart. So I'm gonna trim the, the wing just a little longer than the hackle. And now I'm gonna take my uh, red thread. I gotta move that hackle out of the way first. Now I'm going to take the red thread, which is going to make the Coachman-esque band. That little strand of hackle just does not want to cooperate. And he's murdered. All right. So for this band, I want it kind of wide because if you make it too thin, your rubber legs won't kick off at the proper angle. And the other thing is, make sure that the bottom, the yellow part's totally covered up. And the best way to do that is to spin your thread counterclockwise and just cover that. All right, so now this is one hack that I have had to make. I started tying my grumpies with this. This is Hairline Life Flex. And it works really well on the grumpy frumpy. It's it's more durable than the the silicone stuff, or I mean than the the regular rubber legs. And this is the cream color. I don't I don't want white necessarily. So I'm just going to tie those in with one wrap right in the middle of that. So if you're if you wrap if you wrap those too close to either of the foam bulbs, it'll mess up the angle that they kick off the fly. So now if I move them to either side, they are now going to come off the fly at good angles. Now I can just take this loop and hold it back and move my thread in front of those. Another piece of thread, or I mean another piece of hackle. So I'm just going to loop that behind everything and come in here with my whip finisher. Give it a whip. It's good to throw a little bit of head cement on that part as well. All right, so now if I trim that loop, I've got legs. And I leave them long on purpose because now I'm going to put the, the barring on them. So what I'm going to do is just take a Sharpie. If you don't use a Sharpie, um, other markers will really cause these legs to go dark. So I'm going to stretch them tight like that and then put the Sharpie on it and just roll the Sharpie back and forth and it should color both the top and the bottom if you roll them and make little nice little stripey stripes on them. like that. Alright, so once you're done, um, you can pinch all those legs together and hold them up. And so I like to trim it so that they're just a little bit longer than that hackle. It's kind of hard to see here, but let's see, a little bit shorter. You can just trim them up however you see fit. But anyway, that is the Grumpy Frumpy with the Indestructo Hackle in the original colors with the absolute weapon of a hook.